Welcome to the second edition of the Saudi Tour. The race is back after a one-year absence, and here are some of the riders who'll be fighting for the stages and overall victory. Costa, Gaviria, Bagioli, Prunavagen, Ewan and Kemner. I think we're here with a, a super motivated group. Um, you know, we have a, a strong team for the sprint. Um, so yeah, you know, it's, it's exciting to, to start with like a bit, uh, you know, with uh, Rudy Seelig as well coming to the sprint train, you know, that's exciting. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting the race started. On paper, Ewan is the sprinter to beat, especially with his formidable looking train, but it's never easy to predict who'll have the best legs heading into a new campaign. Always in the, in the first race of the year, it's, it's difficult to know what your performance because you you really don't know how was the performance of the other riders and then we see what is the performance for us. Today's curtain raiser is a flattish run of just under 200 kilometers to and from the Winter Park. It has been pretty windy in recent days, but the gusts had died down by this morning, meaning there was less chance of echelons and chaos in the peloton. With no major climbs, a bunch sprint was looking very much on the cards. Each stage of the race also features two intermediate active sprints and a bonus sprint, which count towards the most active rider classification, that's the blue jersey. The other distinctive jerseys are given to the leader of the GC, Green, the points classification red, and the best young rider classification in white. The Saudi tour will be taking place over five stages around the breathtaking Alula region, which is home to the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Hegra. Three men got into the day's breakaway, Martin Urienstar, Polychronis Tortakis and Mad Sharul Mat Amin, but they were caught by the other 93 riders before a tricky gravel section of some 7 kilometers, only 20k or so from the finish line. There was plenty of tension in the bunch for this pinch point and it had unfortunate consequences for one of the big overall contenders, Andrea Baccioli. Oh, there's a big crash and a rider hitting the deck. In the end, the Italian only suffered minor injuries to his elbow, but he lost almost 20 minutes. Yusuf Mirza then tried to catch the big guns napping inside the final 10 kilometers, but the Emirati rider was caught with only three to go. The big sprint favorites all battling for position as they hurtled towards the finish line in Al Ula. And here come the peloton right on the front. It's the UAE team Emirates who get things going. It's going to be an opening out sprint here for the team of Bora Hansgrohe. Lotto Sudal with Caleb Ewan tucked in on the wheel. Caleb Ewan in a perfect position here to take this race victory on the line. Caleb Ewan wins stage number one of the Saudi Tour in Winter Park. A really impressive display of power from 27-year-old Caleb Ewan, who claims that he's getting stronger as he gets older. His 2021 season was disrupted by a nasty crash at the Tour de France, but he's hoping for plenty of success in 2022, not just at the Grand Tours, but at races like Milan San Remo and the World Championships. The Aussie doing a great job, but also full of praise for his teammates. Yeah, obviously there's no better way to start the season than with a win, so yeah, I'm super happy with that, but you know, I'm super happy with how the, the team performed. I really got delivered perfectly. I think I only had to sprint for 100 meters. So yeah, big thanks to them and uh, they did a great job. A third win for Lotto Sudan in the space of five days. Ewan on top with his lead out man Jasper de Bois stepping fourth. Bora Hansgrohe's Martin Lass was the best of the rest ahead of Gaviria with Runewegen down in 12th place. So it's the pocket rocket who leads the way after stage one. 